from Widows, please welcome director Sir Steve McQueen. Good evening. Um, as Gina said, Viola likes mess. It's got to be messy. Those words echo. In my mind, when I think of her, a great actress, a great artist, searching for the truth, or searching for something that's difficult to find, it isn't easy. It's not an easy road, but it's one she doesn't shy to turn away from. Bravery, a word used for people who dare where people don't, other people don't. Vilda for me is like a ballerina. She defies gravity to communicate. Often, she doesn't know where it will take her or what could be just around the corner. But like Miles, she embraces the unexpected as if it was always there. She's in tune. She's in sync. She is life. What is life? It's never easy, but we eventually get there. It's never straight, but we somehow, somehow, somehow arrive. What you gonna play now? What you gonna play now? The famous words Bobby Bird says to James Brown. James answers, Bobby, I don't know. But whatsoever it is, it's got to be. That's right. <laughs> Funky, messy, unabashful, real. The things that Viola Davis has achieved are phenomenal. Watching these clips on the screen just now at the back, it's like watching, it's like watching Mike Tyson knockout moments. <laughs> Put together with an actress or another uh, uh, actor, and you, it's Viola and someone listening. And what happens is that you see someone who is truth, and it's scary, and it's revealing. The best way when you see some of that is you look at the other actor, opposite Viola. You see them, witness what they're looking at, witness what they're reacting to, and then you understand what is occurring in the moment. She's one of the greatest actors of her generation, a beacon of light. And I want to salute you, Viola, and thank you. And also what I want to do is to honor you tonight and to present to you the film at Lincoln Center's 48th Chaplin Award to you. You are not just a great actress, you're not just a great woman, you are great, and we're so grateful you are here with us because you make our lives richer and you make the truth shine. Thank you so much. And please, Verla, please come to the stage so I can present this award to you. Thank you. Oh my God.
I'll love you too. The will to extend oneself for the purpose of nurturing one's own and another's spiritual growth. That is the definition of love. You know, I have a fantasy or opinion, whatever you want to name it, that every artist creates for the purpose to love. I was thrust into this life world and my beginning narrative was to make my life and existence make sense. So taking possession or gaining entrance to all of these characters' souls was my entryway. Now, as August Wilson says, I ain't never found no place to fit. <laughs> Seemed like all I do is start over. It ain't nothing to find no starting place in this world. You just start from where you find yourself. So every character healed me. Every character from my purview made me feel less alone. I swam in their imperfections. I delighted at their boldness and unbridled truth-telling. I have been frozen at their fully realized sexuality. <laughs> they coaxed me into tapping into mine. I learned from them, fought them. I borrowed from them for a while. And like a child running home with, in my case, food, money from a summer job, and with outstretched hands giving it to my parents with a euphoric anticipation that this would save us. This gift here can make our lives better. My art is my gift for my soul that I give to you. I do believe that we are healers, mirrors for humanity, empaths, seekers, private investigators. The biggest obstacle is not having the courage to go there. Empathy is a connection. It's a ladder out of the shame shit hole. You know, when I, I, I came here, I said, I have absolutely, really? I wrote that, what I just said, and I, but I really, I, felt, I feel like I have absolutely nothing to say. Like, nada. <laughs> and you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of the stuff that comes out of your mouth is bullshit. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm back where, you know, I started Juilliard, you know, Juilliard, my stomping grounds. Juilliard kicked my fucking ass. I mean, I love you, Juilliard, I do. Damien, I love you. I'll see the students tomorrow. Love you. <laughs> well, man, I had a lot of Texas-sized margaritas before every critique session. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> But life is complicated, right? The, the awards, um, Jamie, George, Gina, Meryl, Steve, Jessica. I mean, come on. I, I just, I, I'm sitting there going, who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and my beautiful family that's here, my sister Dolores, my sister Diane, my brother-in-law Pete. 
my posse, my beautiful publicist, Lisa, Krista, Estelle, I mean, my posse. I'm incredibly grateful. And they say that's the biggest regret in, your, in a life, right? The biggest regret of the dying is never becoming your ideal self. But deep within me, I want to say something. And so I'm going to say it. And it's this. It's a quote. <laughs> All right, Gina. How silly of me to not know that I am the love of my life. And I say this because I do believe that we're thrust in a world that we don't fit in. And I believe the journey is that a lot of people sell you a bill of goods along the way. That if you get some awards, you mean something. You go to a certain school, you got it. You're cute, classical beauty. You got the right man, you got the right zip code. And you swim through all that filthy swill until you come to the really, really stark conclusion that I want to leave this earth becoming who I know deep within I, I am supposed to be. That it transcends status. That really, at the end of the day, we are here to love. And the love and the connection starts with self, and then I'll share it with you. And I'm sharing it with you because I love. And see, that's all there is. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so I'd like to thank the board of directors and the staff at the film, at the Lincoln Center. And I'm going to thank every actor who ever thought, or any person who ever thought that I woke them up. Because you know what? At the end of the day, six-year-old Viola wanted mothering. She did. Viola, six years old, just always wanted someone to reach back and go, damn, what is going on inside of you is a storm. But guess what? You're going to find that elixir. You're going to go in that innermost cave. You're not going to come face to face with God. You're going to come face to face with yourself. And let me tell you something. Who you are, what you are, without Juilliard, without the award, even though I'm incredibly grateful. <laughs> without, I don't know, without all the trappings of the world, you are worthy. You're worthy. Every character is worthy, is worthy of you investing in them so people can see their truth. I don't care if they're in a, a really challenged environment. I don't care if they don't look too good. We're all worthy. That's my gift. Okay, well, I guess I had something to say. <laughs> Thank you very much.